So, but as far as, uh, you know, a lot of the other stuff, I mean, being a deadbeat, uh, being a failure at life, again, I don't really see myself that way. I'm not going to sit here and just like, you know, cry about it and fucking shit like that. I don't see myself that way. I know deep down inside my heart that there were forces at work that were contributing and aiding in a lot of the negative outcomes that I've endured in my life. I know it. It's it's not me refusing to take responsibility. It's none of that. I've done the inner the inner work and I've looked deep in to try to figure these things out. And I'm telling you, I know it. There's nothing that's going to convince me otherwise at this point. So therefore, I still believe that deep down inside, you have a fucking winner. Good. That's good. That's what I believe. That's now, good. whatever path I got to try to take to get there, to prove that I am a winner, I'll take it. You don't have to prove Even nothing. if it means taking a loser path. If at the end of the day, in the grand scheme of things, I'm a winner, I'm still going to be a winner. You don't have to prove anything to anybody. That's how I feel about it. But your daughter. No matter what path I got to take to get there and what perspective or lens people would have to look through. Don't listen to the trolls. <clears throat> to make that determination. Some group somewhere is going to think I'm a fucking winner. That's that's what I'm trying to say. So with that being said, dude, don't be a loser. Don't feel like you've lost. Don't feel like you've been defeated and, and you, you know, you're a failure at life. You're a deadbeat dad, John Hoffer. Hey. You're a deadbeat dad, man. I'm not I'm sure I know. you teach your kids stuff all the time. Well, maybe not. I'm not a deadbeat dad. I maybe know, not. Man. I mean, you're not. You're kind of a hillbilly. Maybe, you know, maybe. But whatever, you know. Hey, I teach my daughter stuff all the time still. Good, good. And when she comes and she spends time with dad outside of the, the noise and distractions, we always have that little piece of time where I know, I think to myself, these moments, she will think back. She's going to remember this. She's going to remember this conversation. Yep. She's going to remember when dad was teaching her some skills to be a little bit better and faster at math. Yep. She's going to remember the time she... She was down two games to one against Pops playing freaking uh, Yahtzee. And Pops told her, hey, you keep hanging in there. You could get this last win. You could get this win. All you got to do is have faith, man. And what did she do? Yep. She came out on top, told her she would, and we played it fair. When it seemed like the odds were stacked against her to win that last game, she won it in deciding fashion. How about that? She's going to remember that. Good, good. She's going to remember that. Yes, yeah, she will. So, I'm going to wrap this up. I'm done. Good. I'm, I'm glad. This is, this is a side A, but, uh, is, is much more pleasant. I am, I am, uh, I'm pleasantly surprised. I have nothing bad to say at all. Um, I'm not, I don't think you're mentally ill. <laughs> at all um, if, if you you know you felt the need to, to get you know to get on medication that that's on you that that's hey you do what you gotta do um, whatever you did though you're uh, much more pleasant I like I like this aide that doesn't uh, doesn't give two shits what people think that's that's what I wanted to see um, you don't have to prove anything to anybody at all especially not trolls on YouTube um, the only thing I would say <clears throat> the only person you have to prove anything to is your daughter and the only person you should care about um, who you know what they think about you whether you're a winner or not and it's it's to each their own you know what I mean if, if you if it's important to you that, that other people think you're a winner then that's important to you to, to me, I think the only thing that should be important to you is how your kids view you. Nothing else really matters. You know what I mean? Why would it? Why would it matter? Why should it? And why would it? So I'm glad uh, the serenity prayer. I like the, the serenity prayer. I, I think about that all the time. I use that in my day-to-day -day life. Um... Yeah, you, you didn't get to hear because I started this video a little bit later. But Abe quotes the serenity prayer at the beginning of this stream. I don't know why he referenced uh, 
reference me though I didn't expect to hear my name um, when he was talking about a deadbeat dad I don't I don't consider myself a deadbeat dad at all quite the opposite and if somebody else uh, considers me a deadbeat dad I don't give a fuck I, <laughs> I, I didn't didn't know that didn't hear it and don't really care so I that's why I'm just uh, I'm just I don't know a little confused I didn't know why he referenced that um, called me a deadbeat dad and uh, and I I got the impression that that you um, were were you referring to me when you said about uh, taking responsibility and this and that and all that were you referring to something that I had said in the past all I was saying was if you're gonna if you're gonna talk about stuff in the past you know that you did um don't do it while at the same time making excuses to justify it because that that's not gonna work for anybody <laughs> that that's not um they're they're gonna get pissed and they're gonna they're gonna come at you that's all um but if you can if you can admit you know and I'm sure that you don't actually like uh, feel the way that, that you explained it it just came out wrong I'm sure Abe um, my and like I said my video about you was not a hit piece it was it was literally constructive criticism that, that's what it was that what it, that's what it was it was for your benefit and not for anybody else's and I I, I I'd like to say it worked I, I'm 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 pleasantly surprised I'm not one of these people that are gonna be that get satisfaction out of other people's misfortune at all quite the opposite I uh, I enjoy seeing seeing people win and people succeed um, you know against the odds so when I've seen uh, people attacking you trolls attacking you and everything coming to your channel and you you know playing into it I, I, I didn't like that and uh, that's why I just gave my opinion and stepped in just to be authentic and give my honest God opinion not to try to put you down or anything but that's just I mean take it however you want I, it don't, you know you, everybody perceives things differently and, and everybody has their own perspective and their own opinions and who am I to say it's not like I'm an expert or anything it's just my opinion that's all but yeah if uh, <laughs> if, if if anybody thinks that uh that I'm a deadbeat dad um I don't care go fuck yourself and if anybody thinks that I think I'm a deadbeat dad um you're sadly mistaken because I, I absolutely absolutely quite the opposite of that there so yeah no problem there <laughs> one thing you'll never have to worry about with me is uh I will never feel bad for myself <laughs> And put myself down or pl throw myself a pity party. Um, no, I don't know. I, what good does that do, you know? I, I don't care what anybody thinks except for my kids. That's, that's pretty much it. And uh, you can try all the gaslighting you guys want. Uh, not you, Abe, but other people can try to gaslight... <laughs> my kids and my family all you want how's that working out for you how's that worked out for you so far um each one of my kids one by one ended up you you drove them to see the truth right i didn't have to convince them i just you know showed them my point of view and my stance on on it and my perspective and at first they you know were um had a conflicting view or they didn't see things my way until um you fucking idiots started trying to gaslight them so bad 
that you force their eyes to be open and you force them to see <laughs> the truth as I seen it and uh, as I saw it. And each one of them, you know, would, would later on come to me and explain to me, like, point out all of the things that they are seeing and that they see now. And I did not um, indoctrinate them, okay? <laughs> no, I'm a true believer in allowing allowing kids to make mistakes and to uh, develop their own opinion and their own viewpoint and perspective of the world, not try to paint a picture for them, not trying to tell them how to think, you know, and, and who to like and, and, you know, what to think about people or how to... Yeah, fuck that. They're their own individual people. They're not me. The only thing they get from me is I try to instill the, you know, the right, what's right, what's wrong. Ethics, morals, all that happy shit, you know? So, and they they do. They strive for, for their dad's approval, you know? they I can tell that they they want, you know, me to be proud of them. And I, I am. I'm absolutely proud of them. I couldn't be, I really couldn't be much prouder, prouder because they, they're not perfect. They make mistakes and they learn from them. That, that's the most important part. They learn from them and become better people. That, that's been an awesome thing to see and to watch. And, and to watch them use their own brain and their own fucking uh, opinion and viewpoint and project it out onto the world um, and it's got little bits and pieces of, of stuff that I've taught them along the way, you know, throughout their life. Their mother's been absent. She's been non, you know, non-existent pretty much in their life for the last five years. She just stopped even visiting them or, or picking them up every other weekend. And now she's now she's just now starting to try to see them. Like uh, my son went there last weekend, and you know, just for the weekend. But but my my ex-wife still won't won't come up and pick them up or anything no she puts it on on she she won't talk to me or anything <laughs> which is fine by me but she puts it on my daughter who's 19 she she bugs her to try to bring my son down there to visit it's like it, it's backwards you know what I mean she's supposed to be the the parent but yet it, it's totally backwards she is the most immature um she blames all her problems on other people. That's all she does. She has not taken a single ounce of accountability for her own actions. And she's delusional. She makes up excuses for all her problems. And just makes up, like, like in her own brain. I think maybe she believes what she says. But she actually, like, believes that she was, um... She was in an abusive, manipulative uh, marriage or something. It's fucking weird because I... Pff, uh, I wasn't that. I wasn't there for that marriage. I don't know what marriage she was talking about, but um, the only the only one abused in that marriage was this guy, you know. And just infidelity, everything else. It just it was bad. I, I don't want to talk shit on her, but um, I just I laugh whenever my daughter gets mad and vents to me about how her mother just just. It's always about me. She always wants to run her mouth about me. And, and my daughter gets mad because she, she, she's learned to not even try to back me up because it just make, pisses her mom off and gets her mom yelling at her. But she's just trying to tell her mom the truth, you know? Like, like mom, what are you talking about? <laughs> Nobody did anything to you. you, you know what I mean? She recently, my daughter recently broke up with her boyfriend and my ex-wife tried to tell my daughter tried to tell her that um that she doesn't realize yet but she was in an abusive um manipulative manip um relationship and my daughter's like what the fuck is she talking about because my daughter doesn't see her relationship that way because it wasn't that way at all you know there, she's young she was not in any type of abusive relationship or manipulative relationship whatsoever so obviously somebody fed my ex-wife this this brainwash bullshit and told her like fed her the spoon fed her this shit and told her convinced her that she was in some kind of abusive relationship and her broken brain I guess just believed it and she she's been telling the lie for so many years now she believes it I guess 
can't give you she can't give you any any actual examples of anything at 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 all whatsoever absolutely nothing because there's no, there's no truth to it at all um but yeah i'm i'm almost glad that she is the way she is and that she acts the way she is because it allows my kids to see an example of what uh, not to do or how not to act and you know how not to view the world <laughs> you know it's 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 another lesson for them so it's a blessing for them that that she's the most immature um the most just immature delusional uh selfish person i've ever met in my entire life to date still and i'm almost 40 because then my kids get to see that and then they don't want to be that so it's great it's awesome you know so anyway Hey, I'm. Uh, I, I haven't watched very much of your content at all here. Um, I just it popped up on my feed, and so I watched this, and uh, I was like I said, I was surprised to hear my name. But I'm. Um, I told you whenever you know, whenever all the trolls are gone, I'll still be here, and I'm still here. I'm glad to see you're doing better. I'm glad to see that you're in a much better attitude, and your priorities seem to be much more aligned to what they should be, from my from what I feel they should be anyway and that is yourself you know do do everything don't do anything for anybody but yourself and your daughter and you know your family so um and to all the actual deadbeat dads out there go fuck yourself Abe's not one of them and I'm not one of them so be good or be good at it peace out